In this video, I will show you how to manage design data in MATLAB and Simulink. At the end of this video, you will have better understanding of Simulink capabilities, design trade-offs, and use cases for managing data based on particular requirements. Implementing the appropriate data management approach in MATLAB and Simulink facilitates more efficient development workflows and improves development process integrity. Model design involves different types of data, such as design data, configuration sets, and simulation data. In this video, we will focus on design data, which is the set of variables that you use to specify block parameters and signal characteristics in a model. You can manage model design data with the base workspace, model workspace, and data dictionary. The option that you choose depends on your modeling goals, the model architecture, and the type of data that you use. Design data can be sourced from different type of files, such as MATLAB scripts, MAT files, data dictionaries, and others. These files and disk are the source of the data that is brought into the MATLAB and Simulink environment. Important considerations to manage your design data include data scope, which determines where the data is visible and where it can be used, data storage, meaning if the data is stored with the model file or in a separate file, and automatic syncing, which is the ability to detect and sync changes made in memory with the source file on disk. Let's first look at the base workspace. If you're prototyping or experimenting with a model, you may want to consider creating temporary data like variables to define numeric values in your blocks. In this case, the base workspace can be used to manage your parameters and quickly create or edit the data. Data in the base workspace is visible to all models and easily accessible, which makes the base workspace a good scratch pad for exploring the simulation design space with varying parameter values. Data in the base workspace is not permanently stored. However, you have the option to save the content of the base workspace in a separate file like a MAT file or M file. The base workspace can be used to easily define simulation inputs for your model, and you can import data into the base workspace from a variety of files. Once in the base workspace, the data is no longer linked to the source. As a result, changes are not automatically detected, synced, or traced back to the source file and disk. Another option for data management is the model workspace. Unlike the base workspace, the model workspace makes the data visible only within the scope of the model. This model constraint scope provides a clear sense of data ownership. The model workspace stores the data with the model, which improves model portability as the model and data move together. With the model workspace, you have the option to save the data within the model or in a separate file. Model workspace data can be sourced from the model file, external MAT file, MATLAB script, or embedded MATLAB code. For additional flexibility, you can save the data in a script or MAT file so that the data can be changed without changing the model. And the model workspace can also sync changes with the source file on disk. When you edit data in the model workspace, the data is linked to the source file on disk and changes can be automatically detected and synced back to the source. Finally, let's look at the data dictionary. A data dictionary is a persistent repository of data that offers flexibility to define the data scope and full traceability. With a data dictionary, you can configure the visibility and scope of your data to one or more models. Data managed by a data dictionary is stored in a separate SLDD file. And the ability to sync changes with the file on disk is inherent for the data dictionary because the SLDD file is the source. Here you can see how to create a new data dictionary and add data to it. The data dictionary tracks changes for each entry in the file and provides information such as who made the changes, when, and the ability to view or revert them. If you link a model to a data dictionary, by default, the model does not use data in the base workspace. However, you have the option to configure the dictionary 
to give access to the base workspace as well. In general, consider using the data dictionary if you need to track changes, control access, or partition and share data. Also keep in mind that the data dictionary enables advanced collaboration and componentization workflows that you can learn more about in the videos linked below. In summary, the benefits of implementing the appropriate data management approach include more efficient development workflows and improved development process integrity. The base workspace, model workspace, and data dictionary provide the capabilities and flexibility that will help you achieve your design goals. For more information, please refer to our documentation.